Webb for Villa. Inside to the Hungarian, Andras Stieber. Now Crooks. Villa have settled very quickly here, you have to say. Webb waiting on this near side. Here he is on the overlap. Back again to Grealish, who's had a good start to the game. The first save for Jamal. Well, it's a comfortable one in the end. It's going, that's for sure. I mean, he's got great ability, John. And I just want to see him get on the ball and see if he can create. And maybe Connor Hunt as well. He's got that touch and way about him. Hunt's going for the little one-two. Here comes Darbo. Ball was swift. Do you know what, Gary? That's unlucky. We've done really well there. Some great passing. Connor Hunt being in the middle of it. John's physical lad. He's just been pushed off the ball so, so easily. And then his reaction is to lean into the player. He's gone down very easily and won the free kick. Robinson. Yeah, Connor Hunt's just done enough there just to put him off. It was a clean shot for him, really. Should have done better. By Danny Papo, but uh, not a great one to put it mildly. Hit it straight at Alfie Crooks. And now it's picked up by Robinson. This is all self inflicted by Chelsea, eventually slashed away by Roy. Yeah, a rush of blood from Danny Papo. I'm not sure, too sure what he was trying to do there. Put us under pressure. Still on for Villa here. Crooks were challenged by Conroy. That was a great challenge. That was a, great, great, challenge, that was a great challenge as well, just outside the box. Oh, hard to beat. You're right, fully committed. Here comes Jamal Blackman. He's punched it as far as Crooks. Villa take the lead. Across from the left. Not dealt with sufficiently by Jamal Blackman. And Alfie Crooks tucks it home. Villa 1, Chelsea 0. Oh, all came from that poor free kick, wasn't it, by Danny Papo, which gave Villa the impetus and the bodies already in good position. Jamal didn't quite get there, Gary talked already about some deliveries from Villa they've been excellent this evening some of the balls into the box but you just got to make sure about your punch and Jamal maybe a little bit of confusion with Danny Papo in there as well but give really credit to Villa because uh, they're a strong side yeah they are and the passing is excellent as well and they control the ball through midfield I would, the only thing I would say is in this first 30 minutes is every time we've gone forward in wide areas and that's why we've looked most dangerous. Carruthers looking for Danny Johnson. Good save by Joel Blackman. I just think the pass is a bit short for him here. And to be fair to Daniel Johnson, one a little bit further forward. I think he'd have got on the end of. We could quite easily have seen the second goal. The pass to him wasn't the best, but he makes out what he can from it. Good, good save by Jamal, standing up at the near post. Would expect him to make that sort of save, though, Gary, at that height. But anything down in the bottom corner, he might have struggled. But it's a corner. Second fellow corner. Jamal Blackman gets really good distance on that punch. It's a better punch, isn't it? Yeah, so disappointed with the first punch. I'm sure he is that gave the goal away, but that's a great punch. Kamasunda. Malkovich. Chance of a counter here. John Swift is calling for it. Now it's uh, Hunt. Oh, it's a good stop. Connor Hunt, absolutely terrific. That he's so unlucky. The layoff from Nakovic was uh, a little bit firm. Carruthers. It's a nice strike, isn't it? He's just trying to cut across the ball here. Gets his boot behind, inside the box. Not a problem with that. Sends it up to the halfway line. Everybody then gets back into position. Johnson. Kinsella. Stever. Dreadful pass straight to Swift. Chelsea look to capitalise with uh, Stever out of the game. Ball's looking for Milan Laukovic. Unlucky, you know. He is unlucky. I just... Four minutes until the break. Here goes Carruthers. Come on, Gary. I was looking at the wall there. I was looking at Lamisha Masonda. Oh, he just 
turned his back and gone sideways. I was watching him just prior, and I didn't think he looked comfortable being on the end of the wall. And he's slightly smaller than the other guys. Would have been better, in my opinion, to swap him over, to him more central. But he didn't look brave enough for me in that wall, and I think Villa might have thought that as well, and that's why they've gone for the one outside the wall, just to see if they can pinch an extra foot and swing the ball into that top corner, because if they had a done, Jamal Blackman would never have got there. But as he's jumped, he didn't look brave. He's turned sideways, which makes your body thin. You've got to keep your body nice and big and block anything that's shot at uh, a goal. The ball generally just uh, disintegrated a little bit as the shot was struck, to be honest. No harm done. Grealish setting Villa on their way again. Here's Johnson. Lovely back heel, Jamal Blackman comes. Oh, good goalkeeping. That's a great save. Absolutely terrific. You know, we always complain some about certain aspects of play. We've got bodies into the right areas, kept our shape well, and at times we try to get the ball forward. It just probably lacked a little bit when the ball gets up front. It hasn't really stuck with Milan, possibly because of the pass, it's not quite been up to standard. And again, it's worth pointing out, Villa are at absolutely full strength, whereas Chelsea are missing players because of the youth cup. Lalkovic, well, there's players in the middle here. What a chance. Oh, what an opportunity. John Swift with the final touch, wasn't he? Comes in late. I think penalty is given for that. Would have been a big blow for Chelsea, as it is. They're on the attack with substitute Saremba. Lalkovic. And again, could he have passed there wide to Lalkovic? He just kept that movement going. Great opportunity for him. Good movement by Chelsea. John Swift starts out with the square pass. Good running off the ball. That final pass, that final touch is just not there. Dean Conte with another burst down the left. Oh, what a tricky one to deal with. It certainly looked like one from where we were as well, but um, you know, it's just a sign perhaps that we can get something out of this game. And, you know, there's more to come. Swift, what a fabulous run. Lalkovic. Oh, he's gone to ground. And this time the referee has a good look. Well, he's done well there, Milan, because he's got good pace and he's taken on the last defender. And um, John Swift initially has really created the opportunity. And the referee's got a clear view of this one. Again, diving in. No need to do that. Does Milan go down a little bit early or not? It's Webb with the challenge, and the referee has pointed to the spot. And again, we see the contact coming in. And, uh, Webb's a little bit disappointed with that, but Milan Lelkovic has done well. Oh, remember, he missed one, didn't yeah, he? I was just going to say, against Villa at Culver. Here comes Lelkovic. No mistake this time. It's 1 1. That was clinical from Milan Lelkovic. That's a, that's a good finish, isn't it? I mean, when you've missed the last one, and the nature of the way he missed it as well, he'd have been disappointed with that. But this time, no problem, nice and powerful, buries it into the bottom corner. Well, we've been better in the second half, and you'd have to say, when you play better, and when you're in the ascendancy, you deserve a little bit so of something. You can understand there are going to be claims for penalties. When you get into that last third, and then finally into the penalty area, the challenges come in and they're a little bit mistimed. And some of them have been. And penalties are going to be uh, going to be given. We might not have seen the last. Lalkovic again, taking on Webb again. Well, he's got the cross in, hasn't he? A little bit too close to the goalkeeper this time. Two, three, possibly four step overs. Maybe he should have delivered a little bit earlier. Johnson. The Villa side will be very frustrated to have been pegged back. Robinson always looking to get the shot in. Yeah, he looked like he was going to... Good defending there for Stever and uh, Chelsea could be here. I, I can't believe he's shot here. Surely he's got to pass to Milan Lalkovic, who's in great space on the right-hand side. Field off his big central defender. We'll see again, three against three. He's in a super position, Lakovic. The shot in the end was poor. Could have gone further forward to Connor Hunt as well, but 
So remember deciding to go for the shot himself, and it's a poor one. And other options were there. It's always good with hindsight, though, isn't it? That you, if he buries this in the top corner, then there's no problem. But that's the way football is. That's the nature of the game. You, live you take it on. You need yeah, to you hit live the and target. Die by the sort. Oh, that's oh, a poor pass. Given away. He got, it, got it back. He's got his foot in well, though, in the end. Oh, the referee's playing advantage. Chelsea outnumbered a bit here. Good save by Jamal Blackman. Ball out of position because of the, the way we've given the ball away. Another free kick to Villa. And Jamal Blackman has to make the save again. Yeah, comfortable for him, I think. Trying to go. Masonda managed to poke that through for Saremba. Sam Cambo has lost possession. He's gone to ground. There's no foul. Here come Villa. Four on three here. This is danger. Carruthers finding Calder. Chelsea have got men back. Just, just pushed him too wide, didn't he? Just feel that now the problem has been resolved. The shot does come in. It's not the best of shots, but again, Jamal right behind it. Johnson. Oh, Chelsea would be furious if uh, they scored from that with their captain on the ground. He's got back on his feet now. Free singing infringement. He's playing advantage here. Yeah. Oh, he's managed to wriggle away through Danny Papo's challenge. Referee has a look, says penalty. Well, victim of our own problems there. The referee sees this one as a penalty. Danny Papo's maybe his size, his bulk has collided with the player. And well, as always, so it's Derek Rick Williams who goes to ground. He's a big lad, Danny, trying to get out of the way. I don't think this is intentional. One central defender on another. Uh, we need Jamal Blackman to come up with a moment of inspiration here. Into the last 10 minutes. Well, I did say earlier that we might see a few more penalty decisions to be made. And the next one has given Villa a chance, hasn't it? It's the Aston Villa captain, Danny Johnson, a scorer at Cobham just a couple of weeks ago. Johnson against Blackman. Oh, what an awful penalty and a brilliant save from Jamal. I think you're discreet things at the other end, but at least being positive by trying to take people on. Saremba teeing it up nicely for Selwyn Cambo. Good stop. Well, they've done everything right, haven't they? So one or two little tricks around the box, which is always nice to see. Good. Johnson trying to atone for that missed penalty. Danny Papo with a last-ditch challenge. Jamal Blackman comes out. Yeah, good hand. He's got a good hand on this, because if he doesn't get it, he's going to make contact, and it could have been a penalty. Grealish. Tour, that's a Chelsea ball. Uh, has done well tonight. You know, he's had a good game. I think he's looked good going forward, but he's also done his defensive duties as well. Gets a good foot in. Danny Papo there just about gets something on it. Jamal pushes it away. And we see the first challenge. A little bit of good fortune for Robertson in the distance, but well spotted near side. Grealish. Johnson. Grealish again. That's a for Jamal. Well, it is, and there you know, quite a few Villa bodies. As I said before, Gary, I think we'll, we'll take a point at this stage now. Villa on the attack, and in the last 30 seconds of the game. Grealish, well played, Darbo. I think we've uh, I think we deserved a point as well. We stuck at the case and, and got ourselves through. That is full time at Villa Park. It's one each. Chelsea pinching a point, courtesy of Lalkovic's penalty and Jamal Blackman's penalty save. Lalkovic made no mistake this time after missing in the last meeting at Cobham between...